Okay, good day, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Joanna Chen from uh, eTree. Uh, my topic today is to introduce to you the green industry capacity and practices of Taiwan. So uh, first of all, let me uh, introduce a little bit about eTree. So uh, eTree was founded in uh, 1973 in Taiwan. Uh, we are a, a global establishment. Uh, in addition to our headquarters in Taiwan, we also have offices uh, in the United States, uh, Japan, Russia, Germany, and also the Netherlands. So um, as a uh, government think tank, we actually help a lot with um, Taiwan's policies uh, in terms of our uh, technological uh, developments and uh, national uh, strategy planning. So according to the 2030 Technology Strategy and Roadmap of uh, eTree, we are focusing on uh, three main topics uh, at the moment. And that includes a smart living, quality health, and a sustainable environment. So in terms of sustainable environment, it's actually one of the uh, key fields of research uh, here at eTree. So uh, what exactly is eTree's role uh, in green energy uh, industry promotion in Taiwan, we actually play um, uh, various roles in Taiwan. So number one, we are a government think tank. So uh, several uh, of Taiwan's green energy policies were actually uh, drafted um, by us. And we are also uh, managing one of the um, main uh, project offices in Taiwan called the Million Solar Rooftop Project website, uh, which I will um, introduce uh, later in the presentation. Uh, in addition to offering services to uh, the Taiwanese government, we also offer industry consultations. So on the uh, industry side, we offer uh, a lot of our market research and we also do a lot of uh, technology transfer because as a, e tree is actually a bridge between uh, government policy, academia and industry development. So a lot of the uh, new technologies that are uh, innovated in eTree, we also transfer out to uh, private companies uh, in Taiwan and also uh, abroad. So uh, that also brings us to technology innovation. So um, a lot of uh, the latest technologies are being uh, researched and studied in uh, eTree. And so we offer a lot of uh, energy technology uh, inventions and uh, testing facilities. Um, we also have several uh, labs uh, at eTree, which offers a technology standardization and a verification testing. So in addition to all the uh, technological um, innovations that we are doing, we also have a lot of international cooperation projects. So as we previously mentioned before, uh, eTree not only has offices in Taiwan, but also abroad. So uh, we offer a lot of uh, technical assistance uh, abroad, uh, particularly in uh, demo projects and uh, capacity building uh, exercises. OK, so as we previously mentioned before, uh, there are several of Taiwan's uh, green energy policies uh, were developed and implemented by eTree. So one of the uh, key uh, green energy programs that's being implemented right now in Taiwan is the Green Energy Technology Innovation Program. So um, this program uh, is in response to uh, some of the uh, main energy goals in Taiwan. So uh, because Taiwan uh, imports about 98% uh, of our energy from uh, other countries, so uh, energy security is actually a very big issue uh, for us at the moment. So by developing green energy, we hope to um, build up uh, Taiwan's uh, capacity to supply energy for ourselves uh, locally without having to rely on uh, imported sources. So enhancing green economy is also uh, one of our uh, key goals because uh, by um, creating a green economy, uh, we can, there's a lot of uh, innovations in this sector that uh, we can explore. And also, of course, finally, we hope to uh, foster environmental sustainability and help to combat uh, climate change, which is a very big issue, not only in Taiwan, but also globally. 
Okay. So uh, within the green energy technology innovation program, uh, there are four um, main uh, implementation tactics that we are implementing uh, at the moment. So number one, we hope to build up our solar PV uh, installation capacity and also our uh, wind energy installations in Taiwan and boost smart energy efficiency and build a Shaolin Science City uh, in Taiwan. So um, as we all know, solar energy is probably uh, one of the um, most mature green energies right now uh, globally. So Taiwan is also uh, looking forward to um, build up our renewable energy uh, capacity with solar energy. So with solar energy, uh, first of all, we hope to build up our uh, rooftops. Okay, so our strategy is to uh, expand our um, solar installation uh, capacity by first incentivizing rooftops uh, before we go on to ground installations. So uh, in terms of the uh, rooftop market, we have something called the Million Solar Rooftop PV project. So in this project, uh, we, uh, we want to encourage uh, the private sector to um, rent out their rooftops uh, for uh, solar energy projects or to uh, construct their own. And uh, in this scheme, uh, we are uh, promoting the PV ESCO uh, program. It's the, the um, solar PV uh, energy service um, sort of mechanism. So in this mechanism, um, energy uh, project companies can sell solar energy to the uh, Taiwan Power Company uh, with the feed-in tariff rate and uh, make their profits uh, from that. And uh, on the private sector side, they will rent roofs from uh, the private sector. So homeowners or uh, factory owners with uh, large rooftops, they can uh, rent these rooftops from these um, building owners and there is a, a source of a cash flow right there. And as for the uh, initial financing, uh, there are a lot of banks in Taiwan that offer uh, green financing schemes for project development companies. So uh, right now in the uh, green financing field, there are about uh, 16 uh, banks in Taiwan that will gladly offer um, green financing for solar energy projects in Taiwan. And uh, in addition to uh, solar rooftops, uh, Taiwan is also building a larger scale um, solar farm size projects. So for example, uh, in the photo you see right now, this is in the uh, Changhua Coastal Industrial Park. So um, this project is uh, 100 megawatts in total. And this is the um, largest single solar farm in Taiwan to date. And uh, this project was built in, as I remember, October of 2019. And uh, there will be um, other large programs also in the future. And uh, this is just uh, one of the, uh, the larger examples in Taiwan. So we are really uh, looking forward to um, build up a large renewable energy penetration rate uh, through solar energy. Uh, we also mentioned before about building a Shaolin uh, green energy city. So what this, uh, this uh, green city does is that we hope to uh, integrate um, renewable energy uh, creation, energy storage, energy efficiency, and environmental conservation uh, into uh, one spot. So sort of create a, a, a demo green city sort of idea. So uh, this um, Shaolin Eco City is uh, already built. It is in uh, southern Taiwan in Tainan. Uh, it is on uh, one of uh, Itri's uh, campuses. So uh, in this um, demo campus, as you can say, we, uh, we integrate private industry, uh, public institutions, and also universities to gather uh, in one location. So uh, at the uh, Solid Green Energy Science City, uh, there are a lot of um, 
demo project sites uh, with the uh, solar PV and wind power installed, and also the latest uh, energy storage technologies and uh, smart, ener smart energy technologies are also there. And uh, we are also inviting private industries to invest in uh, an industrial park uh, at the same location, uh, along with uh, attracting universities to set up a new campus uh, at the site. So the idea is that we hope to um, promote sort of a public-private uh, partnership uh, scheme at one location and to um, uh, create a synergy uh, between all these uh, different fields so that we can innovate for a greener future. Right, so uh, that was the introduction on the policy side uh, of Taiwan. On the, uh, in the industry side, uh, as you can see uh, in this slide, uh, there are approximately 339 companies uh, in Taiwan right now that is in the solar industry sector. So uh, these uh, 339 uh, companies, uh, they're, they're different from um, other uh, companies around the globe is that we strive for high quality and uh, high efficiency value added solar energy products. So because uh, solar modules and solar systems are so um, sought after uh, these days due to the uh, green energy trend, uh, Taiwan is uh, looking forward to um, developing particularly in the uh, solar module and uh, solar energy system integration these two fields uh, in response to high domestic and international uh, needs in uh, solar energy. So uh, in addition to um, having all these uh, private companies in Taiwan, uh, eTree also plays a very big role in uh, the establishment of the solar energy industry in that we uh, can do uh, certifications for the uh, solar cells and other solar technology. So a lot of the um, module efficiency testing or um, product specification testing are all done by eTree. Right, so uh, in the first half of the presentation, uh, we talked a little bit about the policy and the industry situation in Taiwan. And uh, now I would like to um, sort of introduce to you uh, what kind of um, solar projects that we are focusing on uh, right now and what are the capacities that our companies are um, able to do in terms of uh, system design or um, product of offerings. So uh, first of all, uh, this is one of the uh, interesting cases in Taiwan is a microgrid that is used for um, disaster prevention backup. So uh, in the photo here, this is the uh, Ulai district office. So uh, a little bit background information uh, about Ulai. Ulai is actually a very a big tourism spot in Taiwan that is known for uh, its hot springs, but it's located closer to the mountains. And so whenever there is a, a typhoon or a larger rainstorm, uh, the road condition is uh, not always very good. And the, the the district or the village is actually prone to a utility back blackouts. So the uh, local government uh, decided to uh, commission a renewable energy system uh, around in 2015, as I remember. So at that time, there was a very big a typhoon that had a block out the roads and a cut off the power system to the village. And they encountered a, the situation where it's very difficult for the local people to uh, contact uh, emergency services that are outside uh, in the city. So after that incident, uh, the mayor commissioned a small 18 kilowatt um, PV system at the Ulai district office. So. Uh, what this system does is that it offers uninterruptible power uh, for the district office. So uh, the, the system can, it is connected to the utility grid, but uh, in, in times of disaster, it can run uh, independently without the utility grid. 
and they can supply the district office for several days. So providing it uh, basic lighting and uh, telecommunication systems and uh, other uh, emergency power services. So the local villagers and the local officials can uh, sort of uh, still have their um, basic daily power needs um, being satisfied while they uh, wait for emergency services to uh, clear out the roads and to come in and fix the utility. So uh, this is one of the um, projects that's uh, being done in Taiwan. So uh, another kind of uh, energy project that our uh, industry is um, currently working on is for island electrification. So um, Taiwan, uh, in some aspects, is actually similar to the Philippines in that uh, we also have uh, a lot of islands. In addition to the Taiwan islands, we have uh, several small islands in the Pacific. So one of these islands is the Ituaba Island. It's uh, uh, all the way in uh, southern Pacific, and it's uh, a bit far away from the Taiwan mainland. Uh, there's uh, some residents there, and, and most importantly, we have a military base at Ituaba. And the military base is originally being powered by uh, diesel fuel. But uh, because it is a, uh, a, a military installation, uh, they are very worried about their um, energy security because, um, as you might know, having a power plant that's run by diesel means that you need a periodic diesel supply coming in uh, to maintain your, um, your local daily operations. So the military base is actually looking for a reliable self-generated power source uh, for its, uh, its uh, key installations. So uh, around, I think, uh, 2016, uh, it commissioned a 160 kilowatt um, PV power system. Uh, this power system also has a energy storage uh, system that goes along with it. So the system is designed to uh, reduce uh, the need for periodic uh, diesel transportation. So it would uh, cut down on uh, the very polluting uh, diesel supply and also ensures uh, national security in that the uh, the local um, military camp can rely uh, mostly on solar power to power its uh, daily needs. Okay, so uh, before we've talked about green energy being used for uh, remote villages and also for um, islands. Uh, the third project is the green community uh, microgrid. So uh, in this case, uh, we are introducing the uh, Shaolin Village. So uh, a, a little background story on uh, Shaolin Village. Um, Shaolin Village uh, was destroyed in 2009 by a very large typhoon, the Typhoon Morakok. So uh, in, you can sort of say that Shaolin Village is a little bit similar to uh, Ulai, uh, which we previously mentioned. But in this case, uh, Shaolin was uh, uh, entirely uh, destroyed after that typhoon, and so the whole village needed to uh, rebuild its entire infrastructure. So uh, when the uh, Taiwan government and the local Shaolin uh, people, they were discussing about how to rebuild uh, the village, they uh, considered using green energy and uh, sustainable uh, buildings to uh, rebuild the community and to uh, give it a green infrastructure and also a, a new economy. So uh, in this project, uh, Shaolin Village was rebuilt entirely using uh, green energy. So uh, there are about uh, more than uh, about more than 300 uh, households uh, in the area. So a lot of them were funded by the local charity, which uh, has installed uh, solar energy uh, rooftops for each house. And there's also a, a um, smaller uh, community, about 15 households that's being built as a smart community. So this smart community was uh, designed by the Taiwan government. 
uh, in this small community of 15 households, uh, each home has a three kilowatt uh, solar panel on its roof and also a, a home battery size of six to 10 kilowatt hours. So the, uh, the small batteries actually were used with uh, decommissioned uh, batteries from electric vehicles. So it's sort of a recycle and reuse uh, situation that's um, being experimented on uh, in this green community. So in addition to each home having its own uh, green energy system, there is also a larger uh, 100 kilowatt hour uh, energy storage system in a container. Uh, as you see in the first photo. So what this um, larger energy system does is that it can uh, regulate and dispatch uh, the energy that's needed in the 15 household uh, green community. So uh, this project is actually uh, designed to be a demonstration project to see how uh, a mini grid can work with a slightly larger uh, village size of uh, 15 homes. So uh, if this uh, Green Commission uh, succeeds in this uh, 15 household uh, project, it's very possible that uh, in the future in Taiwan, there could be um, other projects similar to it, where each community can build its own distributed energy power system, and uh, we will no longer have to rely on uh, the utility grid, which uh, at times can be uh, very problematic uh, due to it using having to use uh, traditional energy and also having the risk of uh, long power distribution lines. With uh, distributed energy systems, each community can entirely be dependent on its own power supply. Now, uh, for um, our last case, uh, I would like to introduce the uh, Lighthouse Station demo project. So uh, the three cases that um, I discussed previously were uh, already finished projects that are now um, under operation and maintenance. But uh, this one, the Lighthouse Station demo project was um, just uh, established uh, this year in May. So. Uh, what this is, is, uh, as you can see, it's a demo house that's built in a container. And uh, it, this uh, container house actually has a, a lot of interesting specifications in it. This uh, lighthouse station is built entirely with uh, green materials. So we've got the uh, electric vehicle charging station uh, on the outside and a renewable energy a PV, PV system on its rooftop and uh, the energy storage system in the back of the house. And inside in the interior, we have uh, a lot of uh, different uh, green materials being used. So for everything from the walls, the ceiling to the flooring are all used with uh, sustainable um, items. Okay, so uh, as uh, everyone can see from this diagram, uh, a total of 14 companies came together to uh, build this container house. And uh, each company has its own uh, special uh, product that contributes to the greening of this project. So uh, for example, uh, Phoenix Battery offers the lithium battery that's being used to uh, charge all the uh, energy consumption uh, within the container house. Uh, Ecolojas is the uh, system integrator of the demo house. They're, they're the ones that um, actually uh, built this entire system. Uh, Tech Home Technology, Lotos, uh, their product is that uh, they can offer the insulation coating on the outside of the container. So uh, the white paint is actually a, a heat resistant paint that keeps the uh, interior cool and therefore it's more um, energy efficient uh, in total. Uh, Chengling Tech, uh, the wood wool cement board is a very good product for uh, noise reduction. So it's also a very good um, product that can be used for uh, interiors. 
uh, Jingfa aluminum. They offer the uh, aluminum frame for the windows that's being used uh, in the demo house uh, because it's located uh, on the outside of the museum. Sometimes there's a lot of noise and uh, uh, their windows uh, can uh, very easily uh, block out a lot of noise and heat uh, from the sun. So in other companies, for example, uh, Itrigo, uh, they're the ones that uh, designed the charging station that's uh, on the outside of the demo house. Uh, Moshia, they have the bamboo flooring uh, inside the house. The bamboo flooring is used uh, in, entirely uh, in bamboo, uh, Taiwanese bamboo, in fact. And it's a, a, a very uh, economically and environmentally friendly uh, product to use. Uh, as an alternative to uh, other materials. Uh, other companies such as uh, Kenstar and Alliance Materials, uh, they also add uh, a lot to the um, interior design uh, of the demo house. So uh, this demo house is located um, outside the Science and Technology Museum in Kaohsiung. So uh, the point of uh, this little demo house is to demonstrate to the public that uh, renewable energy is actually a very um, user-friendly technology and that it's not just something that uh, you see on TV. It's not something that only the uh, industry uh, has access to it, but that um, it can be integrated into our daily lives. So uh, this little demo house is uh, right now is um, undergoing some redesign and actually we will uh, redesign this demo house to be a, uh, a mobile structure that can be um, set up in the rural areas in Taiwan as a, a remote library, a remote um, green energy library for uh, children in the villages uh, to um, offer them uh, additional education. So uh, this is something that it's something new that uh, Taiwan uh, is uh, working towards. So um, to uh, better describe this uh, demo house, we have a video. We will show you a video uh, after our presentation to help you learn more about our uh, new design of uh, what Taiwan's industry is uh, trying to work towards in the future. And uh, this concludes my presentation for today. I hope everyone uh, has uh, learned something about uh, Taiwan's green energy industry, and I, I hope you have a very good day. Thank you. This is a new concept from Taiwan, the energy industry aesthetic that integrates sustainable development and health for all. The system converts sunlight into renewable energy and stores it into batteries to provide users with an endless supply of electricity. Be ready to welcome the Lighthouse Station and open up new horizons. Tingyo,我们这个改成的水库运营的一个技术,让这个粘土表面的吸水的状况变成输水特性。就是要达到那个零甲醛同时也会让加快这样的一个充电的速度。Made in Taiwan, providing the world a better future.